All right, guys. So, so we got dates from Jonas Sunshine. All right. So I ordered a medium box here, um, which is the size of shipping, and he packed it as full as he could. And I asked for three different, or I asked for a variety of dates. So I think here we got the Black Sphinx. I'm gonna go through the taste test at some point. We've also got some honey dates, yes. And then we also got uh, slightly more dehydrated. Uh, Black Sphinx, I think, or I don't know. <laughs> even gooier. Yeah, dude, it's so lit. These are even more dehydrated. These are wet and gooey. Yeah, it's it's lit, guys. We're unpacking the box. Unpacking it. What? What, Jonas? What, bro? Yo, no way. Amazing. And some carob pods. So yeah, he, he did me he did me the business. So I'm just like, get some good angles for these guys. Uh, cool. It's like we got. Um, if you like content like this, let me know. I'm gonna post Jonas's information in the description below. I just love this. <laughs> dates. Support my YouTube channel. Instagram, Facebook, also here at YouTube. All right, y'all. So we got hella dates. Let's see what we got here. Wow. Might have to get different dishes for this, y'all. All right, cool. So I'm back. So got some dates here. I'm going to put them out on the plates. So got good dates here. These have been in the refrigerator, too, because these are so organic, no pesticides. Um, you know, they can go rancid and all that, so... Yeah, he's like, he's like hand sorted, so these are the good ones. Let's so go with that one there. I think these are about, these are a little drier, so I'll pick these up as well. And what I do, honestly, is I've taken the most driest of them and I'll just be soaking those in water and making like date water that I can drink with that. So these are more dried. And we got, what else we got? All right. We got a super wet, gooey bag. <laughs> Man, these are so gooey. I love it. Wow, okay. This one, you just gotta like squeegee it out of the bag. It's like that. They're like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> that right there. My God, that's amazing. That's amazing. I think these are all just as gooey. And then there's uh, the honey dates. <laughs> I love this. This is everything. everything <laughs> okay well got these ones I think these are from here and these were the driest and I already soaked these so that's what we got y'all got dates for days dates for days 
So we got these, these are pretty dry. They're, uh, you know, sun dried naturally, but um, they're good for, um, let's see if I can do something here. I can't see myself, so I hope this uh, comes out good. Morning face, so let's see. Oh wow, um, like candy. Super gooey, that one. Okay. That's awesome. Wait. <laughs> I don't even remember where I got it from. I think it was one of these. Yeah, it was this one. Okay. Cool. Next, we have these. Slightly more, or slightly wetter. So, less sun-dried. So, slightly more of a... Let's see if we can get you a good angle here. Cool. So, still can't really finger it. Well, you can actually get this one open with your finger. So, it's a little more gooey. It's immaculate. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have honey dates. These are awesome. Probably like a lighter flavor, lighter color. More keen to honey. These are sweet, my gosh. <laughs> so, can't really get this one apart with my hands, but it comes apart with the teeth pretty easily. I don't recommend just smacking on dates by themselves. It's a lot of sugar because they're naturally dehydrated. So, I recommend soaking them in water. So, I've actually got a mason jar here full of date water. And I think, just a second here, I'm going to, I can share, I can find the glass, okay. Got mason jar here. And I've actually got some of the honey dates soaking in here. And some of the firmest, some of the driest ones, the firm ones. Okay, so, shaking the water up. I'm just going to pour this out here. Oh man, that right there. Pristine date water. Oh wow. Oh wow, it started to ferment. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. But wow, it started to become like a date wine. Whoa. Man, that's good, <laughs> but I gotta refrigerate this. This is getting sour. Good thing I came to get a sample. Yeah, so you can use that. Um, I gotta show you the texture of the dates after you soak them as well. Some of the honey dates been soaking so much much uh, softer and wetter and we got some of the other dates are just pure goop at this point you can just like eat that it's just dripping all over it so yeah mm. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge, I'll be right back. So we're still learning. I forgot these were organic dates, so soaking them out at room temperature, really after a day or two, you're gonna start having natural reactions with the heat and stuff. But wow. <laughs> That's so nice. Mm. It literally tastes like honey, maybe like honey wine. Yes, God. Okay. 
So those were the honey dates. And like I said, I had some, also had some of these, these ones soaked. So how, they got very soft, you know? Last but definitely not least. Boom. The wet, gooey, black sphinx, man. What the heck? Best dates ever. So. Gonna do our taste test of that. So sticky, it just sticks right to the finger. I'm gonna eat this whole joint. It's naturally, it still has the hydration intact. <laughs> Y'all, wow. That flavor is ridiculous. Okay. And also, well, I got date in my mouth. Jonas, always putting gifts in the box. So these are carob fruit pods. Carob is a natural chocolate substitute. And so what happens is there's a couple seeds in here. You can see sort of the shape. Um, you just avoid those. You can cut them out or whatever. You can just bite and eat around it. Spit out the seeds. Mmm, that's so perfect. It's like a natural, it's like a wafer, honestly. Mmm. Wow. That's so perfect with the dates. <laughs> Carrot beans actually used to be used as a form of currency because they're very uniform in shape. Mm. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I'm try with some honey date. These shoes are hard, so you don't want to like bite down on one of those. Mm. Same with date pits too. Jonas' dates, he doesn't deep pit them. You don't want them to. These are fresh, so take your pit out because these will fuck up. I mean, ruin your blender. Sorry, my language. Mm. <laughs> Chewing very mindfully because there was another carob seed in there. So, man, we got free, I mean, we got fruit seeds. So, please support my brother Jonas Sunshine out there in Arizona. He grows these himself, harvests them himself, climbs the trees, gets them down, sorts through, picks out the good and the bad ones, and I mean, it's so worth it. And so what I've got like, I don't know, like 10 pounds here. <laughs> Several, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably at 10 pounds, I think. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Now to rebag these. Oops. So yeah, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Actually, hold up. Cool, still getting used to the YouTube thing. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you like content like this, let me know. I'm gonna post Jonas's information in the uh, description below. And thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, also here at YouTube. And yes, have a fruitful life and stay blessed. Ciao.